Hello. Well, it's summertime and I like to be outside and I work enough that when it gets to be three or four in the afternoon, I'm like, oh no, supper. So I like easy things, but I also like tasty food. So today we're going to make something called pork roast Tuscan style. This is really easy. What you need, I have some fresh chopped sage, some fresh chopped rosemary, some salt and pepper, some olive oil, and I have here a crusty baguette. You're supposed to have a crusty baguette, but they have this rustic French loaf, which I'm going to use, and a piece of pork, a pork loin. This is a little over two pounds. So it's really easy. I'm going to brown this, put the spices together, roll this in the spices, I'm going to get the innards out of this so my, my pork will fit in there. We'll put it in there, wrap it up, and roast it. It's so tasty. Let's get this going. Now don't forget some kitchen string also. This is what I have on hand. It's kind of like twine, so I'm going to soak it in some water so it doesn't catch on fire in the oven. And you're going to want to set your oven at 375 degrees. This is going to take about an hour, probably a little more. While I'm waiting for my skillet to heat up, you want to get, let that cast iron get hot before you start. You can see that I am soaking my twine. If you use a household string, I think that doesn't need to be soaked. But I'm going to combine my spices. You want to mince the sage and the basil. But I'm just going to use my uh, scissors. Let's try this. It's going to be so flavorful. When you have fresh herbs, it just, oh, the, the fragrance and the taste. I think I want those a little smaller. I'll probably do something to chop them up a little more. Here's my rosemary. You need to have two teaspoons of rosemary, two teaspoons of sage. Now I have extra salt. I don't know if I'm going to use all that. We don't use that much. Well, I will. That's what it calls for, so I will. This is what it calls for for pepper. And I'm supposed to add some garlic to this. So let's kind of mix this together. Oh, that smells good. I have more rosemary that I'm going to put on top. There, this will be all set for when the pork loin is browned. I think I'm going to sprinkle the garlic on. I don't want to get this wet yet. The sizzling has quieted down a little. You want to brown this on all sides. It'll take about 8 minutes to 10 minutes. While that is browning, we're going to tend to this bread. I've already cut it open, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the soft part out. Because then I'm going to put the pork in here. So we're going to take all the soft part out of here. I think some people you could use this for dipping into olive oil later. Okay. Just kind of work it out. You want to leave enough so you don't open it up at the bottom. Leave enough in there so that you always have a bottom and a top and sides. I'd say that looks good. This is browning nicely and as you recall, if you let your cast iron heat up hot before you do this, it doesn't stick. There is oil in there but you just don't have the sticking. I think you'll find that. It's browning very nicely though. And it's still browning. I flipped it. But there's another job for you to do. And that is you're going to take some of the olive oil. You're going to brush the inside of your loaf with some olive oil. It smells so good with that fresh sage and rosemary. Oof! Now instead of having it roll in that garlic because it's wet, I'm going to put some of the garlic on the inside of the, of the bread. That looks really good. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do with the garlic instead. I'm just going to sprinkle it around a little. because I want to keep those spices dry. I don't want them to get all glopped up. That's a technical kitchen term. That is all set for the pork. 
My pork loin browned up really nice. Now the recipe tells you to roll it in these spices, but I find that it gets all lumpy, so I'd like it more, more evenly distributed, so I sprinkle it on. <clears throat> I just do like this, kind of pat it in. If some falls on there, I'll roll it in that at the end. It picks up all these flavors. I kind of pat it in there. Now I can do some rolling. Let's see, I'm kind of patting it in there. All right, okay, let's put some more here. Pick up some of that. We want to be fair to everybody. There we go, that's ready for the bread. All right, here's the bread. Remember, I put some olive oil on there and I sprinkled my garlic inside. Now I'm going to put my pork loin in there. There, that fits nicely. And you know what you do now? You close it up. The last thing I'm going to do is put some of this olive oil on the bread. Then I'm going to sprinkle some of the rosemary on there. Every once in a while, just put some on there, scatter it. It adds so much flavor. See what catches. All right, now you are going to truss it up. Let me see if I can do this without getting in your way. You're going to cut this off when it's done. This is just going to hold it together. One more. There it is, all set for my pan. And it's just ready to go in the oven, and like I said, it'll be for at least an hour. It took 70 minutes. I put my meat thermometer in there and it's 160 degrees. The recipe suggests 155 to 160. So now I'm gonna let it rest on the board for about 10 minutes. I'll get my mashed potatoes put together and we can have supper. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna to try to cut some up. I'm gonna take the string off first. Oh, it smells so good. I was sitting outside on the porch on the deck reading while this was cooking it. Oh, I could smell it from out there. It is so juicy and lovely looking. Look at that. Let me get some more stuff on here and Martin will be ready to eat his supper. We'll give him a few mashed potatoes. Include some broccoli. And of course watermelon. We are big watermelon lovers. But let me zoom in on this so you can see how beautiful it is. Give that a whirl. It was so easy. Remember, I just mixed a few spices together. I browned the, the loin. I got the bread ready by taking out the guts, leaving just the outside. And I put some olive oil on that and sprinkled on the garlic. I rolled the browned loin in the spices and sprinkled it on and pushed it in. Wrapped it up and baked it for 70 minutes and it smells good and it looks good. We're going to eat now. I hope you give this a try. I think you'll like it. On a busy day it's not that much to do to put it together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.